Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. I am Simply Brentley. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and ground. Clearing all negative energy, only welcoming positive, pure energy. Only welcoming, welcoming positive, pure energy. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <clears throat> first things first, there's an energy of new love here. Um, somebody is very much so interested in um, in you, and they're not coming to play any games. They're not coming to be wishy-washy. They're not coming and saying one thing and doing the next. They're coming and being honest. They're coming and being loving, and they're coming in and being true. Okay. So this person has seen, like, what big heart you have. What big heart you have. <laughs> and it was just right. Okay, so I'm getting... Um, like, this person is going to be just right for you. They're going to start this off with a healing process. Like, you're going to be able to heal together. You're going to be able to, um, like, definitely trust each other and just tell each other your needs, understand each other's love languages. And this person is going to pour back into you. And there's going to be a friendship here that begins before anything else. Okay, now. Transformation. Okay. So this person has seen you um, go through some type of transformational energy. Maybe you did some type of glow up, um, no, no matter, like, they saw you mature, they saw you grow, something. You're very talented to this person. You're very talented to the world, okay? And this person has definitely been drawn to you. They're definitely, um, you're very aspiring to them and love, okay? So this is going to be a deep love connection where you can really just feed on each other's energy and you really just are here to huh, make it grow, make this empire, baby. Let's use the Spirit Song of Wisdom of Oracle. Okay, so let's use the Wisdom of Oracle deck. <laughs> higher power. They have been led by a higher power to come towards you. It's like this um, magnetic connection. You're drawn towards each other. Like you're, as they see you, you know how like in the movies and they're doing this like slow motion kiss and then the girl puts her leg up? It's that type of energy. Very magical type of energy. Um, so now we have... Um, by the book. So this person is going to do something the right way. They're not going to be trying to cut any corners. They want to show you, which is very important, that they're here for you. They're here for the long run. The long run. They're here for you to be here for you, to understand every different, every little thing you do stays on my mind. Um, so everything about you. They want to know everything about you, get to know you on a deeper level, and they want to balance this out. They want to balance this relationship out. It's absolutely beautiful. Look, and then we have go the distance. So this person knows that, like, already from the outside looking in, that you are very loyal. And they want to go ahead and take the effort towards you and show you that you are worth everything you've always thought you were worth. And you working on yourself has really um, captured them to come towards you and be able to, you know, have something very much so with growth. We have uh, the five of wands here. So... It's like in the past, um, there has been, like, it, it didn't, like, this person, if they saw you go through something that was not too easy, if they saw you go through something that was very much so making you irritable, make, making you, um, like, it was some hard shit, some hard shit that you had to go through. They saw, like, how you not want to be played with, like, you not want to be fucked with in the wrong way, and you're going to take up for yours, you're going to take up for yourself, and they know that, like, that did not come from an evil place at all. So, like, if you see that this person saw you going through something, they actually saw you going through something, and they wish they could have been there for you. We have the the lovers. Yeah, because there's this emotional connection that they have. They know that you're very emotional about yours, and it's time for justice. It's time for justice. It's time for fairness. It's time for truth, and it's time for um, balance. Some things to be balanced out. We just had 7-7, seven, seven, and we have 7-7 seven, seven two more times this month. So, it's definitely... Just amazing. Just absolutely amazing. So this is a very powerful um, month of manifestation. So if you've been like wanting a partner for a long time and you've been manifesting that and doing what you need to do to pre prepare for that, it is definitely right here. We have the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that's going to be reciprocating. This is somebody that understands that you're kind. You're very kind. They're not going to take that shit for weakness. They're going to appreciate your kindness because they may have been in some situations before when people just weren't too kind for them, but they have worked on themselves. So it's not like they're going to be um, very fragile or anything. 
um, but they've worked on their self. And, you know, like, even though they're not very fragile, they understand that you will understand and this vice versa. So we have um, this position where this person is just letting go. They're just letting go. And, you know, any type of fears, any type of any type of things that they were afraid to come up towards you, like, I don't know, like, you have a very strong personality. And because you have a strong personality, it's very, it can be intimidating. Even though you don't may not see yourself as having a strong personality, baby. Whenever you step in the room, you definitely are devouring. And I and I don't even mean like in a negative um, way. It's it's definitely like you putting your step you're you're being seen, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles here, so you're very down to earth, you're very financially responsible and you're secure. So it's not like you need to you you're not a gold digger. It's not any gold diggers around here, it's just somebody that can build upon you. You you want somebody that can add to what you already have, okay? So if they're not adding to what you already have, then it's a no. So we definitely have some great energy here with this new love situation in the sun. The absolute best, okay? This is going to bring you a lot, of, a lot of happiness, prosperity. You're going to be able to work together. You're going to be able to build together. You're going to be able to definitely understand that, like, there was a reason why you had to go through something in your past to go ahead and establish this history with this person. And it's a lot of wealth. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of happiness. It's, it's a lot of you being able to achieve different things. Okay, what do we have? The motherfucking empress. So it's definitely like a very productive situation, a situation that you're definitely going to... And then what do we have? Temperance. Um, something that you're really going to um, reap rewards from and it's going to balance you out. And it's a long time coming. It's like, it's over now type of energy. I feel like I can make it. The storm is over now. Will of Fortune. Positive energy. It's, um, some ups and downs that have happened in your life, but it's movement. It's time for movement. It's time for progress. It's time for change. And that's exactly what's happening. You understand exactly what time it is. What time is it? <laughs> It's time for growth, it's time for movement, it's time for change. And because of that, you're following exactly what you're led to do. So this is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, y'all. Let's see what else we have here. We're going to go ahead and use the Moonology Oracle deck on some last advice. And what is this for anyone? So, trust the timing. So, you know, like, that's not the... Um, Starseed Oracle deck. Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. So if you feel like it's over in your love life, if you feel like there's no hope in your love life, you got to get out of your head with that. Okay? Because it's, it's safe for you to let go. It's safe for you to be loved and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. And a fiery climax approaches. So this is definitely like um, Gone with the Wind Fabulous. <laughs> this is definitely like the energy of, you know, you having greatness in this relationship, in this situation, and being able to build upon it. And you really, like, even though there's a fiery clim climax, that fire, that's lit, it never dissipates. It continues to grow. Okay? All right. All right, all right, all right. Don't forget to get your energy in and like, comment, and subscribe. As always, peace, love, and namaste.